so these are the pieces that I'm going to use to uh, kind of mount the, the latch, I guess. Um, it was just one piece. I took a uh, chop saw, cut it at an angle, um, just held it kind of there, and then I, you know, I placed this on here and marked it. Did the same for this one. All right, here you can see I'm kind of starting the gates from the back. As you can see, I got my strong hand tools and my holy table here, and uh, I'm just, I don't know, making rectangles, I guess. Uh, got the first one. Mocked up, as they say. Uh, yeah, here you can see I'm just cutting out the uh, panels for the doors or the gates, uh, just plasma cutting them. Nothing really exciting, just clamping the C channel down and dragging it across. This is all scrap. Uh, I don't even know what this is for material, but it should be pretty thick. Kind of cheated on these. Just uh, use the TIG welder and just got them really hot. I weld the insides and call it good. All right, I got the first back door mounted. I didn't record a lot of it because I'm kind of embarrassed. Um, there's so much slop in the hinges and the frame kind of came out of square a little bit, but I mean, it does have to lift itself up a little bit and there is a little bit of a gap, but for the 20 times I'll use this trailer, it'll be fine. All right, there's the sheet steel. There's Pops watching. Just getting it laid down now. Edges are all tacked. And the gate looks horrible. That's why I'm embarrassed and don't want to show more. All right, a little progress update is in order. Um, I couldn't figure out what I was going to do for this toolbox and tongue. I still honestly can't. If you look over uh, there, you can see my dad bought me one from Horrible Freight. Uh, my buddy gave me one from off of his rock pile. My plan was to build one but I'm getting a little short on the hours. I got all the sheet steel down and I welded all around the outside edge. I haven't welded the seam down the middle. Uh, I'm gonna run out of wire if I do that. So I'm just trying to keep myself going. Other than that, I think I got all the hydraulics kind of figured out where they're all gonna go. I just, didn't run them. I thought it would look better if I painted it and then put them all on. And I really think I'm going to regret that because it's going to involve um, climbing underneath there, but I'm going to have to get all that. Yeah, God, I kind of screwed myself because now if I want to weld all that, dang it, I'm going to have to either lift it up or, yeah. Anyways, this is kind of how she is. I'll show you these doors. I'm so ashamed of them. That's why I didn't make a video on it. Um, if I can figure out how to put a link, I will. I put, can you see in there, bronze bushings in here. I'll put a link here or here. I don't really know how to do that yet, but we'll try. Because they come with these plastic ones and they suck. I put the bronze bushing on the top on this side and this door turned out just great. It swings great. This door on the other hand has a bronze bushing hinge on the lower side here and not the top and it sags down really bad. I should have just did all of them. I don't know why I didn't. I was being kind of lazy. I bought this cam actuated door lock here I just put this where it needed to go. Well, first I put these on here. I drilled and tapped. And uh, hopefully I made a video of that. 
And then I did the same thing up here. Um, I had these little pieces of pipe, so I welded them on so that the handle can't go anywhere. And then I set the handle where it needed to be. Uh, I just extended the sheet metal on the back side a little bit farther and put a stop there that holds the latch. Turned out really good. Part of me is thinking I should have not bought that and just try to figure it out my own because I think the doors would have turned out better, but whatever. Anyways, lots more welding. Apparently welding, lots of welding goes into these trailers. All right, finally gotten back to this tongue. I've skipped a lot, I know, um, but that's life. I plasma cut uh, the C channel that I had that I talked about. I didn't know where to put the jack, so I finally just went about where it was. Uh, I'm gonna cut the angle iron off, get it mounted, put this toolbox basically as far forward as I can. And if I hate it, I'll just put something else on there later and uh, probably weld that hole shut while I'm at it. But uh, yeah, that's progress. Uh, here you can see what I did for my uh, safety chains. Uh, nothing special. Just a scrap piece of the half by two and uh, I drilled a half inch hole in there and bolted the chain on if you ever need to replace it. <laughs> I noticed uh, while making the video here that one is a grade eight bolt and the other one's a stainless steel. So years down the road, I'll let you know which one works out better. These are gonna be the long pieces for the sides of the trailer. You can just see me cutting them off. I can't remember these are 20 or 24 uh, chunks, but it works great because I can cut one side. Um, since I got enough pieces, I can cut both pieces at one time so they're exactly the same, and then I'll cut these at the exact same time. Well, here you get an idea of what I'm doing. This is just a 1116 horrible fray drill bit. Um, these are going to be the side plates for the side gates on the trailer. And uh, this is a 5 8 pin, so it's just slightly larger. I'm going to put it in there like that, and then I'll weld them on. And uh, I'll probably actually wait. Get the gates all built, mark the hole, uh, weld these on after I drill it. So, a little update. You can see the sides. Super convenient, have a nice big sh sheet metal workbench. I'm just getting it uh, set up, um, tack it together, weld it together, put it where it needs to be, and then weld on the hinges. And I'm working on this top member over here, and I wanted to put this tube on the outside of the 2x4, but then I had to put a cap on both ends, and then the sheet metal is going to be a lot more tricky. I don't know, something about the way it looks now is just going to drive me crazy. <sighs> See how it turns out, I guess. That out. But you can see how it sticks out and how that's like much, much nicer. Um, <clears throat> I just drilled a hole. I can't remember what they said they're supposed to be five eighths or something, but they're not. They're actually metric. Uh, but this slightly oversized hole, I just marked it, drilled it, and I did that one over there thus far, and it worked out. Good. Okay, here you can kind of see the side panels and how I'm going to weld the hinges on. I made this little uh, template thing of just two boards screwed together. And I'll lay that wherever I want to put a hinge and then weld the lower part, tip it up, and weld the top part. And I think that should be good. Oh, the welder stopped welding. I have a bad feeling. I know why. That's what I thought. <laughs> Uh-oh.